In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Falcon 25 rim exit device. We will install a Falcon 25 rim device with a 512NL trim on a hollow metal door that has been prepped according to Falcon templates. For other device and trim variations, please follow the installation instructions. These are the tools you will need. If this is a new construction project, check the hardware schedule to confirm you have the correct exit device for the opening. In the box, you will find the 25 rim device, trim and cylinder, drill template, fasteners, dogging key, strike, end cap and end cap bracket, and installation instructions. Use only fasteners provided with the exit device. If sex bolts are in the box, see the back page of the installation sheet for instructions. This opening had previous devices installed. Please disregard any other prep you may see on the frame. Mark up from the finished floor 40 and 1 half inches. Using the square, draw a horizontal line to the edge of the door. This is your center line. Close the door and mark a dot on the frame where the center line meets the frame. Use the square to extend that line across the frame. Place the strike on the frame with the strike body against the door. Align the center hole over the center line and mark the two slotted holes. Center punch in the middle of the elongated holes. For a metal frame, drill and tap the top and bottom holes using the number 25 drill and the number 10 24 tap. Mount the strike on the frame using the two included screws. Position the plastic template on the door as shown. The arrow on the hinge side of the template should be pointing to the center line. Mark the upper and lower vertical lines indicated by the arrows. Mark the seven holes. Using the three quarter inch hole saw, Cut the center hole at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical center lines. Following the trim instructions, measure and drill a 2 inch hole, 2 and 3 quarter inches down from the center line. Using the number 25 bit, drill the two holes for the center case support screws and tap with the number 10 24 tap, as indicated in the chart. If you are using trim, the instructions may require additional holes to be marked on the device side of the door. Use the trim instructions to finish marking all holes on both sides of the door. Whenever you want. When transferring your vertical line from the inside of the door to the outside of the door, keep in mind that the bevel of the door can change the location of that vertical line. When you drill your prep holes, a good practice is not to drill them all the way through. Start on the inside and drill that one first, then move to the outside of the door and drill your hole from that side. And keep in mind that not all holes are the same size on both sides of the door. Using a one quarter inch drill bit, drill the four holes on the device side of the door. 
transfer the horizontal center line to the trim side of the door. Then, transfer the vertical center line to the trim side of the door. Using the template, line up the arrows with the center lines, then mark the four holes to be drilled. The 512 trim uses a sex bolt at the bottom to keep it secure. Mark the hole for this bolt on both sides of the door. Using a 3 8 inch bit, drill the four holes on the trim side, and the holes for the bottom sex bolt on both sides. For the night latch function, check to ensure the cam is in the correct orientation, as shown. If you are using a cylinder with a function other than night latch, remove the cam, rotate it 180 degrees, and then reinstall. Install the cylinder into the trim using the security collar. Put the cylinder into the trim and install the lock nut. Tighten using the cylinder nut tool. There must be a minimum of one and a half inches of clearance between the end of the exit device with the end cap removed and the frame. If there is not, your exit device will need to be cut. With the door closed, mark the position of the stop on the door. Measure and mark a line that is a minimum of one and a half inches from the mark. With the cover plate in place, wrap masking tape around the exit device in the appropriate area where the cut line will be drawn. With the door open, align the exit device on the mounting holes and mark the cut line on the tape. Using a square, mark the cut line on the tape all the way around the exit device. Carefully cut the exit device. Ensure the cut is square. Using a miter box can help. Remove any burrs with a file. Install the bottom bolt on the device side of the door to hold the trim in place. Secure the center case to the door and trim with the four provided screws. Slide the end cap bracket into the exit device and mark the two holes for the end cap bracket. Use a level on the exit device to ensure proper positioning. Drill and tap the holes for the end cap bracket. The picture on the instruction sheet will guide you to the correct size bit for your door material. Install the end cap bracket and end cap with the provided screws. Refer to the instruction sheet to select the correct screws. Install the two center case support screws. Ensure the push bar guide is in the proper position. Install the center case cover with the four provided screws. Remove the protective film from the push bar. Measure the distance between the roller on the strike and the center case. It should measure 3 sixteenths of an inch. From the inside of the door, make sure the latch is fully extended when engaged with the strike. From the outside, make sure the door cannot be pulled open. If the latch doesn't fully engage, the strike can be moved closer to or farther away from the door stop. If the door can be opened from the outside, a shim may be used under the strike. Complete the installation by securing the strike with the third screw. For assistance, contact customer care 
at 877-671-7011.